Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. Hello, I'm Lance. Hello, my name is Paula. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Hi, Mary. I haven't seen you in ages. I heard that you and Daniel are getting married on August 8th, the opening day of the 2008 Olympic Games. Is it true? Yes, it is. We've been dating for over seven years. We have decided to get married on a special day and we think August 8th, 2008 as a red letter day. Good for you. It sounds like you've done a lot of planning in a very short time. Yes, there is a lot of to be taken care of. Wedding photos, wedding dress, catering, transport, hotel, etc. Is everything ready now? Almost. The only thing that isn't ready is the hotel. As a lot of people have chosen that day to get married, it is hard to find a hotel that isn't too expensive. Have you tried the Peninsula Palace Beijing? My wedding reception was held there and they did an excellent job. Yes, we called, but it is booked up. The only choice is the Regent Beijing but we haven't made up our minds yet. It's an excellent hotel. A friend of mine had her wedding reception there and said it was perfect, though very expensive. That's why we want to have a look at other hotels. We don't want to spend too much on an extravagant wedding reception. I guess you're right. I can help you ask other hotels. I am sure there are probably some available. Thank you. My pleasure. Bill, Bill, you gotta help me. What's wrong? Slow down or you are gonna give yourself a heart attack. Tomorrow is Christmas and I haven't bought my mom anything. I'm such a bad son. Take it easy. Let's go to the mall, window shop a little and see if there is anything she might like. That's just it. I don't know what to get her. Last year I got her a ring that was two sizes too big and a pair of shoes five sizes too small. I suck at getting presents for people. That's where you're making a big mistake. You can't just guess people's likes or sizes. Especially with clothes or jewelry. On top of that, I think that you should get your mom something that shows how much you love her. At the same time you should show her that you took the time and effort to look for something that she would really like. Yeah, you're right. When it comes down to it, I can be pretty tacky. Yeah, tell me about it. I know, your mom is trying to learn Spanish, right? Why don't you get her a gift certificate for this great website I saw called Spanish Pod? Now that's a great idea. Just dab it all over your face and then take a look at the symbols that appear. Yeah, hearts, stars and some weird looking things. Those are money bags, and they represent your financial situation. So decode this for me, Madam Psycho. That's Madam Psychic to you. I'm waiting. Well, you have three hearts. Lucky in love tonight. Dress up and go on a date. What's the score? The Ukraine team took the lead by 3-1 to one at the end of the first half. The Russian team needs to tie the Ukraine to get the pass for the final. It doesn't seem to be so easy. How time flies. We have been lovers for nearly a year. We hit it off instantly. Yes, but do you think there is eternal love in the world?
How could you handle living in such a big family? Does everyone get along? Sure. We love each other and take care of each other. In such a big family, there must be a head. Who's the head of your family? My grandpa. He has the final word about almost everything. My grandpa is president, and grandma is vice president. My parents, uncles and aunts try to arrive at a consensus on important questions. Is a family like yours common in South Korea? No, not anymore. Mine is highly educated but traditional family. Most South Korea families today are a lot smaller. In traditional families, the old people are well respected and taken good care of. Ho! My family setup is a bit different. In New York City, there are only three people, my mother, my stepfather and me. During this summertime, I fly out to California and live with my dad. Dad's getting. Of course there'll be a room for you. To be blunt, maybe I won't be able to get along with his new wife or her kids. Yours as a modern family. I'm sure your dad loves you and would want you to stay for the summer. You just need to try your best to get along with your new stepmother and her boys. But four boys. It will be a new experience, and you might as well learn to adjust to changes. You are right, I guess. The world keeps changing, and so do families. But I like a small-sized or medium-sized family where everybody is equal to everybody else. That's what I want. It is good to have goals in life. If California doesn't work out, come and visit me in Korea, okay? That's a great idea. We could share a room. It would be fun. And we could do some traveling around Korea. You could see for yourself what life in a big family is like. That sounds like an excellent offer. I might take you up on that. Thank you for the wonderful invitation. Did you happen to bring that book that we were talking about yesterday? I did. Let me go get it for you. Here you go. Thanks so much. I like the way that the gifts I get increasingly more lavish. I had no idea that there were specific things that should be given on different anniversaries. So what does it say you should give your wife this first anniversary? It says that traditionally, give something made of paper. I can think of two things made of paper, stationery and money. I hate to go outside. Me too. Why do you hate to go outside? I meet too many jerks. I agree. This city is full of jerks. Rude people are everywhere. But what can you do? You can yell at them. And they will yell back at you. Yelling doesn't do any good. No, the best thing to do is just stay home. Let's play chess. I haven't played chess for a long time. That's all right, I'm a beginner. I've just learned how to play. Look, there's a chessboard. Those two men have already finished playing. You're a very good player. Not really, but once I won a prize. So did I I won a prize last week but it was a prize for beginners. My prize was for the best player in the country. Now let's start playing chess seriously. Susan, good evening. Why are you so dressed up? I am on my way out to a New Year's banquet. 
How do I look? Is my makeup okay? You look great. Your makeup is perfect. Do you think I should wear a different dress? No. The one you have on looks fabulous, especially with your hair like that. Thanks for saying. Do you have any ideas which necklace I should wear? With that dress I'd say your white diamond necklace would look perfect. Thanks for helping out. Now that I'm ready, what are you doing tonight? Not much. Just a house party with some friends. Sounds fun. Anyone I know? Yeah. Most of the people are from our office. Sounds like I'm missing out on a good time. Oh, well, there is always next year. I'm sure you'll have fun no matter where you go. Remember to take your bag. I'm afraid I spilled coffee on the tablecloth. Oh, never mind. I am just going to do the laundry today. I want to apologize. Is there anything can do for you? It really doesn't matter at all. I never did like it anyway. You're not looking happy. What's the matter? Oh, nothing special. I'm just a bit tired. With the job? With everything, with everybody, with all this. A good suggestion for you. You need a holiday. It wasn't always like this, you know. What do you mean? Well, I mean, we always do the same thing. There's no variety in our lives. You need a holiday. That's what's the matter. Certainly, perhaps. Excuse me. I don't think we have met before. My name is Mary Jensen. Oh, hello. I'm Bias Chethri. Good to meet you, Mr. Chethri. Pleased to meet you too, Ms. Jensen. Good evening, sir, and welcome to Shea Attitude. We have a dinner reservation for four at seven o'clock under the name of Foster. Yes, Mr. Foster, if you would please be seated over in the waiting area, our hostess will be with you in a moment. Thank you. Would it be okay if we have a cocktail while we are waiting? Of course, I will tell her. I would really prefer an outside table. Would that be possible? Sure. If you would like one of those tables, I could seat you right away. Sure. That would be great. Thank you. Here are your menus and the wine menu, and would you like to order your drinks now? Yes. I would like a vodka gimlet, please. Sure. No problem, sir. Thank you very much. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.